Hi, friends. Today I'm going to read you a story called Three Pigs, One Wolf, and Seven Magic Shapes. I will have these tangrams that will help make some of the pictures. Tangrams come from China. It's a puzzle that has been very popular and there are a lot of different um, pictures that you can make from just seven shapes. Do you know the story about three little pigs? <laughs> of course you do. They built three little houses out of straw, sticks, and bricks. Then the big bad wolf came along and huffed and puffed and blew two houses down. Only the brick house was strong and safe. So two of the pigs were eaten and the third pig lived happily ever after. In a nearby village, three other little pigs were ready to seek their fortunes. They kissed their mama and papa goodbye and went their separate ways. Now the first little pig met a magic duck. Please duck, can you help me seek my fortune? said the pig and the duck gave the first little pig seven magic shapes. Two triangles, one medium-sized triangle, two large triangles, a square, and a parallelogram. Use them wisely, said the duck, and he walked away. Notice how all seven can form a square when they are put together. That's part of the fun of using this particular puzzle. After you make the pictures, see if you can put them together again to make one complete square. As the pig went along after his seven shapes, he grew lonely. After all, at home, he had a brother and a sister pig to talk to and play with. So he used his magic shapes to make a cat. Notice how if he takes the two small triangles, the square that makes the head, and then if he puts the big triangles, just like this, that makes the body. And here, is the tail. This is very wise, said the pig, for I will not be lonely anymore. Just then, guess who came by? Big Brad Wolf! He's the twin brother of the other wolf in the other three pigs story. Big Brad had run all the way from the other village, so he was doing a lot of huffing and puffing. <sighs> he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. Then he ate up the little pig and the cat too. The second little pig met a magic rabbit. Please, rabbit, can you help me seek my fortune? said the pig. And the rabbit gave the second little pig seven magic shapes. So do you think I can make the rabbit? I'm going to use the parallelogram first for the ear. I'm going to use the triangle for the other ear, the square, for the head, then the big triangle, and this triangle for the body, and these two small triangles will make up the little paws. Do you see that cute rabbit? Use them wisely, said the rabbit, and she hopped away. That evening, as it grew dark, 
the little pig grew frightened. He used his magic shapes to make a candle. Now, to do that, I'm going to use one of the large shapes to make the bottom. And then I'm going to use one of the small candles, the triangles to make that. Then that other triangle will be part of the big part of the stem. And then continue to make the candle this way. This will be the top of the candle. And here is the candle flame. <laughs> this is very wise, said the pig, for I will not be frightened anymore. But it wasn't wise enough. Along came the wolf, who huffed and puffed and puffed and huffed and blew the candle out. And he ate up the pig. <laughs> the third little pig met a magic swan. So to make a swan, I am going to use this big one for the body. And then we're going to turn this one like this. Use one of the small triangles and the square. This will fit right in here. And then we use the parallelogram. There we go. And now we're going to use this one for the head. There's that swan. <laughs> so the swan gave the little pig seven magic shapes. Do you remember what they are? Two little triangles, one medium-sized triangle, two large triangles, a square, and a parallelogram. Use them wisely, said the swan, and he swam away. Now, the third little pig thought and thought and thought about how to use the shapes wisely. She decided to build a safe and cozy house. That was a very smart thing to do because you know who's gonna come, right? So let's hurry and build the house going to start with a triangle there and then we'll use the smaller triangle right the medium-sized triangle there and then the two we better get our house straight the two little triangles for the base of the house now this big triangle is going to go on here as part of the roof and I'm going to take the parallelogram and turn it just like that. And here is my chimney. <laughs> and you know who just came along? It was the wolf, and he was still hungry. He saw the pig's house and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Do you think he's going to be able to get that? I don't think so. <laughs> well, he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. I forgot to show you this page. Sorry. There you go. Now we'll turn the page. Well, he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but he could not blow the house in. So he went away. But that's not the end of the story. One day, the pig who built the house of bricks met the pig who built the house of shapes. They fell in love and were married and they no longer needed two houses. 
The pig who built the house of shapes had an idea. She took apart her house and used the seven shapes to build a beautiful sailboat that would take her and her mate on a long honeymoon. So let's use this as the bottom of the boat. Let's use this parallelogram right there. And let's use this as part of one of, let's build our sails. Now we'll, we're going to use, let's scoot that over a little closer, our smaller triangles around that. And then we finish with our two big triangles being the biggest part of the sail. Look at that. Now, the pig who built the house of shapes made this beautiful sailboat and they were ready to go on their honeymoon. Look at that. The two pigs had just boarded the boat when big Brad Wolf suddenly returned very angry and very hungry. So he hopped and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. He made a wonderful wind that kept the boat sailing halfway around the world. Look at that. He still couldn't get them, could he? And the two little pigs lived happily ever after. And they had three pigs of their own. And all of them were very smart. Look at that. <laughs> all right, let's review those shapes. Remember, there's two large triangles. There's two small triangles. There's the square, the medium-sized triangle, and this one is a parallelogram. Look at that. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have fun making all kinds of shapes with um, tangrams. Bye.